welcome back to Get Down to Business, the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship. I am thrilled to be joined by Lynn Hazen, who is the mastermind in everything uh, recruiting, everything uh, communications, marketing, and we'll talk about all of those areas in just a moment. But most importantly, Lynn is a friend and a consultant for the Empowered Job Seekers. So this conversation is long overdue. I've been excited to bring Lynn Hazen onto the program. Welcome to Get Down to Business. I'm thrilled to be here. Great to spend time with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Lynn, Let's start with you. Um, you have won the Lifetime Achievement Award um, from DePaul University's uh, College of Business and Marketing. Um, you've been an inaugural member of the Wonder Women Mastermind Group. You are super involved in community. And I know that that is a big part of your firm. Um, so we'll talk more about it uh, during our time together. But high highlights, what's your elevator pitch? What does Lynn Hazen and Associates do? We're an award-winning executive recruiting firm specializing in communications and marketing. And actually this year is our 21st anniversary as Lynn Hazen and Associates and my 36th working as a recruiter. So we bring depth of experience, curiosity, and an increasing understanding of what it takes to be in the jobs of the future, the recruiter on behalf of our clients looking for outstanding talent. Well, congratulations on that. And there's a reason I asked you for the elevator pitch, because I know you are helping your candidates developing uh, to develop that elevator pitch. And that is one thing that has not changed in 2020. It's changed a lot of things as a year, but it has not changed the fundamentals of the job search. So I want to talk to you, Lynn, about hiring trends, hiring trends. So what has changed in 2020? Now we're in February of 2021. What are the things that job seekers should be doing to retool themselves for the, for those positions of the future. To retool themselves, candidates really need to think about what makes them unique and special so that a recruiter will look at their profiles, whether it's on LinkedIn or their resumes, however they're communicating out to the world or to potential audience like a recruiter, we want to be able to say, this is a great candidate. I want to talk to you. And unfortunately, too many candidates rely on formulae. And I help companies buy. And after a while, when I read these, they're so boring because I don't really get a sense of who are you rather than you're following a script. So when I'm recruiting, what I really want to see is what makes the candidate an outstanding candidate, commitment to ongoing learning and training, and the value that he or she is going to bring to a new employer. So what we've been seeing this year, for example, is what we're calling the jobs of the future are now. Clients are looking for candidates who are on the vanguard of the new jobs, where there's growth, where there's opportunity. And that's what's been changing is that there's an increased need for candidates who have technical skills, for example, and who can adapt to changing modalities of how to do business today. So what's okay. changed... Yeah, we're not working in physical offices together. The candidates who can adapt and change to the changing way we're doing business via Zoom or however they're communicating using these technologies are the kinds of candidates who adapt well to changing circumstances and the ability to pivot to say, I'm going to move into some new areas, take everything I know previously add a new layer of technical skill sets and create demand for my talent. That doesn't happen in a vacuum. So part of what makes this period of life exciting for me as a recruiter is I want to go find those kinds of candidates and I want them to find me. So by being very visible on social media and creating content and PowerPoint presentations and doing workshops and seminars, part of it is very intentional on, on my part is to raise my visibility so people can find us. By the flip side, candidates need to do the exact same things. They need to market themselves. And I have to tell you, there's some really cool tricks out there that we've been using this year on LinkedIn for candidates to get more visible. And I use the same tricks and I learned them. No one taught me how to do these things. And I went, wow, these are really cool tools. For example, do you know that if you post comments on LinkedIn and you put two paragraphs of commentary, mention the person's name, then all of a sudden 
your content jumps up to the most relevant content. And it was like one of those aha moments when I started playing with this last year. And I said, oh, this works. So part of the fun is being able to test new tools, test new technologies, see how they work, keep refining them, and then pass on these tools to our candidates so they can use it to their advantage when they're looking for jobs, new opportunities, and way to position themselves as, quote, what we call the candidates of choice. I, I love it. I'm chatting with Lynn Hayes in the, from the award-winning um, recruiting and consulting, and we'll talk more about that after we squeeze in a break, uh, a firm of Lynn Hazen and Associates. And Lynn, you've just shared some great tips that I hope to put into practice as well. And I know that the same principles hold true. You've been talking a lot on the job seekers side, but the truth is even in a tough economy at times, it is so challenging for employers, for companies to find the talent that they need. So frankly, my message to all of you, employers, HR, managers, directors, CEOs, make sure you're putting these same tips into place as well. <laughs> but frankly, you need to pick up the phone and you need to call Lynn Hazen from Lynn Hazen and Associates. So real real quick, I want to make sure everybody knows where they can find you, which is lhazen.com, L-H-A-Z-A-N.com. And uh, we're going to squeeze in a very quick break and I'm going to be back with Lynn Hazen uh, as we talk more about that story, again, celebrating 21 years uh, with uh, Lynn Hazen from Lynn Hazen and Associates. I always encourage our listeners to get in touch with our wonderful sponsors and supporters of the show, Chicago Signature Limo and HealthPlanChicago.com for all of your health insurance and transportation needs. We're going to squeeze in a very quick break. More small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship when we return. Welcome back, Chicago. I'm thrilled to be rejoined with Lynn Hazen, the president of Lynn Hazen and Associates. And I should mention that Lynn has been out to many of my events and programs that I've uh, been involved in, in, uh, in supporting the business, entrepreneurial, and job seeker community. So Lynn is a leader in the community. So Lynn, it's been 21 years um, of, the, uh, of the firm. And uh, you have done a tremendous deal helping so many uh, candidates and helping so many employers. So did you ever think that you'd be in this line of work? Tell, walk us back 21, maybe 22 years ago. Well, it's been an evolutionary journey. I moved to Chicago after getting my master's degree from Brandeis University. I worked in the Jewish community for a long time. And it's interesting. What do I love doing is mentoring interns. What did I do? Work with college students. So what one of the, my big themes is patterns of behavior for candidates and for business owners. Look at the patterns that are positive, that feed and nurture you and provide you with a sense of excitement when you get out of bed every day. It came to a point where I said it was time to move on. I moved into a new career track, not knowing that recruiting would be my new career. And what I loved about recruiting and still do to this day, 36 later, is the fact that I'm constantly learning and growing. What are the hot trends? What are the kinds of industries? How do I need to retool myself so that I stay relevant? And keeping involved in the community is one of my signature features because I love meeting people and establishing relationships. So it's no surprise that we call ourselves the relationship recruiters because so many of my candidates become my clients or they're working at one company, they move to another company and they call me back. We like to be their recruiter of choice when they're looking for talent. The other thing is that I look for patterns of behavior with my candidates because I like to see them grow and be successful over time. I have a huge commitment to growth and professional development, for example, with our intern program. And we have a huge variety of interns from all over the world, from Thailand to countries all over Europe to China, India. And what I love about diversity is that our clients are diverse. They have very many different kinds of needs. And what better kinds of staff, like one of my own staff members, Falgani, who's originally from India, she's an amazing superstar because she works with so many candidates who come from India who are applying for some of our positions as medical writers. So that's an asset to our firm is to have a wide range of talent working for us because our clients are different kinds of companies all over the world. 
I love it. And Lynn, in our minute uh, or so remaining, you are a business owner. And it's, sometimes it's easy to forget that because you are so involved in supporting other business owners. But you are a business owner and you have your own experiences. We are a show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship, as I always say. What is that one bit of advice that you would have to, to, to another Lynn, to another business owner uh, that you would want to see them not make the same mistake or just a tool that you've seen that has worked really well? Don't give up. When COVID hit and I had to go home, I said, okay, I'm not going down. And I kept that as my mantra. Lynn, you can do this. No matter what's going to happen, you have something to offer. Reinvent yourself. Introduce new products and services so that you can be the recruiter of choice for a variety of clients. Offer consulting services, uh, candidate services, workshops, whatever it takes. And you know what? It's working and clients are calling and asking to recruit on their behalf. So what skills and talents do you have to offer? Reinvent yourself, create new revenue streams so that you'll always be relevant to the people who want to hire you. Lynn, where can people get a hold of you if they want to talk about a job posting or perhaps a position that, they, that they're looking for? Always happy to connect. My email is lynn, L-Y-N-N, at L. H A Z A N dot com. My website is www.lhazen.com. And you can call me on my cell at 312 369 9802. I'd be thrilled to connect. Well, Lynn Hazen, thank you so much for sharing your advice, expertise, and we'll have you back on real soon. So you have been listening to the show all about small business jobs and entrepreneurship to success. Let's get down to business.